What was the play of the day in the scrimmage today? Play of the day? I don't know. There was a lot of good plays. I can't. I can't. I can't pick just one. I can't pick just one. What What did you feel like you guys got out of that experience as a group? Um, I feel like it was a good run as a team. Um, we have a couple new guys. We got to see. Uh, DB was out there shooting it, and uh, it was a good run. We're a re really competitive team, and we're just going at each other. How do you approach those? Is it just kind of like, all right, you're you're going through your drills, and then all of a sudden it's like time to scrimmage, or are you actually like treating it like a game in some sense? Um, we were definitely treating it like the game, and I feel like just the fact that we have to go back into the same locker room after it's more competitive because. <laughs> Who going to get that last lap going in the locker room talking to each other? So it's definitely more competitive. How are you feeling this year coming into training camp compared to obviously last year being your first year? Um, I feel good. I feel like I know a lot of my ropes around things. I know everybody. I know everybody's names. And like I feel like I feel confident being out there. How does it? How are you helping the rookies kind of, especially a guy like Keontae, a bigger guy, getting kind of acclimated within the group? Yeah, um, I try to help them as much as I can. They know they can ask me questions if they ever have any of them. And even the newer guys, if they have a question, they can ask me. And um, just getting them into the loop of things, it's, I, I've been trying to help them as much as I can. You messed with Case in a little bit there. What's your, been, your impression of him early? Um, he's a great player. Um, he showed a lot from summer league that first game when he hit all those tray balls, and then just so now he shows that he's out there. He's ready to work and play defense. He can do it all on the court. I'm gonna ask you, we gotta know. You can give the rookies a little bit of grief. Boss is 29. How you guys? How do you guys treat that one? Nah, I can't do that. To him. <laughs> <laughs> I, I ain't said nothing to him about being a rookie, but I don't think I'm gonna stay away from that. <laughs> Same with like everybody's trying to take in charge now. So how how many how, and how many did you take today? I actually didn't get to take any charges. Guys know that when I'm down there, they know I'm trying to take them. But there's been a couple guys that's been taking them. Yeah, Lou said he's coming for you this year. Nah, nah, nah. nah. <laughs> Slow down a little bit. <laughs> so last season, you were the loudest, I thought, at the, like at during the practice. Uh -huh. I mean, from the media room, of course. But uh, today, uh, the coach said that, that the chat was the she, he didn't he didn't you know, shut up. Or something. So you were loud, or who, who, who do you think were the loudest today? Um, I think everybody was pretty loud. I think Shea was loud today, just talking back and forth with the other team. I feel like Chet was loud. Um, I feel like everybody's talking, especially in the comfortability of our own facility and playing against each other. We know that we can talk more to each other and what gets under each other's skin. That's going to help to co communicate on the court? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. I feel like everybody just being loud and being able to talk is, is going to help us on defense and offense. Jay, well, does Monday have any extra kind of buzz to it? I know it's only a preseason game, but getting to see Chet on the floor, getting to see Victor Wimnyama, anything special being at home on Monday? Um, I think it's definitely a special game just because it's a home game, first game of the season. But I, I think we're just going to treat it just like another another game. We're going to go out there and do what the Thunder do. Have you hit that point in training camp yet where you're just ready to see another team on the court? Um, Yeah, I'm ready to play. I think a lot of guys are ready to play, ready to get back out there and ready for the competition. How's it been, your rookie in, in training camp and getting to go all through, through all this for the first time? Uh, it's fun, just learning a lot, being out there with the teammates and, you know, kind of feeling myself out, just figuring out where I should be on the court and, you know, playing within the system. Do you have any, you know, favorite drills that you've been doing here in camp that maybe you hadn't done previously or some things that they're putting you through to work up your skill level? Uh, no, we're doing a lot of pickups, so that's something that's been you know, fun and a lot of learning inside of it as well. Just going over plays and, you know, defense coverages. It's a lot of learning. Best play of today? Is there, is there one that stands out to you? Uh, nah, not one play. It was a lot of good plays today. I can't pick one. We saw you a couple of days ago after practice, getting a chance to work with Shea a little bit afterwards. Just what is that like, getting a chance to, to spend some time with him and, and watch him work and be a part of that too? Uh, it's good just seeing one of our you know, one of our lead players just getting in work after practice is, you know, refreshing knowing that everybody on the team wants to work from the top of the roster to the bottom. So just getting work with him, I learned a lot and, you know, I, can, I still want to keep learning from him. What are you learning on the defensive end with this group in particular? Is it, is it a lot to take in or, or is it helpful that you were able to go through summer league with this group too? Uh, very helpful knowing that I got, you know, great shot blockers at the rim. We got you know, good defenders on the perimeter. So, you know, we got good help defense and guarding one-on-one, -on -one, something that I take pride in, so. He's obviously Shea, Kentucky guy as well. It's been a really run lately. A lot of really good guards have come out of there. 
is there anything that you guys learn, any terminology stuff you think that makes the first year any easier for you? Um, you know, we all have a lot of talent already inside of us. And we all, you know, have that dog mentality, that willing to learn mentality. So just stepping in with an open mindset and the willingness to learn, you know, as much as we can about the league kind of sets us apart. Mm -hmm. You're going to play uh, next Monday in front of the uh, uh, Oklahoma fan. Uh, how excited are you actually playing in front of the fans? Oh, I'm very excited to, you know, see the atmosphere and what a game day is like, you know, just seeing the whatever game day routine I'm going to have. I'm, <laughs> I'm ready to get that going. You're from Texas. How are you feeling about tomorrow's OU Texas game? Oh, uh, <laughs> that's that's gonna be a big game. Um, I wish I was at the fair for it, but <laughs> hey, we gotta we gotta get better in the gym. <laughs> Have you been before? Uh, not the Texas OU game, but I go to the fair, you know, pretty much every year. Yeah. What do you usually get? Uh, I can't I can't say that right now. You know, I'm trying to leave my past in the past, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's the healthier stuff now. Is that yeah, true? yeah, yeah. Got to, got to be more healthy. It's probably for the best. I didn't go. <laughs> not going this year. Did you get? Uh, did you and Shane like? Did you know each other at all before? I mean, did you have any connection? Did you contact guys, text each other, or anything like that? Um, uh, I came out here once for a game uh, last year, I believe, or a few years ago. So, I, I met him then. I met him. Uh, also met Lou when mm -hmm. I came out. So. Down the stretch, what's it been like having him back in practice um, in a physical way? I know he'd been involved mentally prior to that. Great, happy for him. I mean, those injuries are tough for everybody. Um, and obviously, uh, as competitive as he is and as much of a part of the team as he is, for him to miss the stretch run in the postseason, I know bothered him. And he always injects great energy into the group um, and has done so so far in camp. Total team guy, you know, obviously a great representative of who we want to be. You mentioned, I think, on the first day that you split the group up into three teams, and uh, I just was wondering what that process has been like for you because it's such a deep group. There's so much talent all the way across the board. Has that been fun playing around with who's on what teams uh, so far? Yeah, I mean, we've tried to be pretty intentional about it in terms of what we want to see. The first uh, two days of contact were three teams. Today we played two teams and we scrimmaged uh, for the majority of the practice just to check in on uh, kind of where we're at so we mix it up again today and we'll continue to look at a lot of different combinations throughout the preseason and practices. Anything stand up to you about the scrimmage? Uh, I, I thought we were pretty obviously very competitive um, and pretty organized. I thought the carryover, that's why we do it this early is to kind of check in on what's carrying over and where we need to clean things up um, and I thought the carryover was pretty good. Obviously things we can improve but uh, on the whole, we're pacing well in terms of what we want to get in. With guys and the, the experience that they have now and the chemistry that they've been able to build on this team, have you noticed an uptick in the decision making or the, or the growth of decision making when, when the guys are out there scrimmaging? Yeah, I think so. I think uh, the role definition is what stands out. The guys that have been here for a period of time seem to really know how to play their game inside of our system. And um, that takes time, you know, and, and I think when you add all that up, uh, that's where it has the um, the perception of chemistry, you know, but you can't just talk about chemistry. You gotta have the ingredients of chemistry, and that's guys playing to their strengths and guys playing inside of what we're doing, and, and that's definitely shown up. What about for a guy like J Dub, who plays so many different roles and positions out there on any given you know, scrimmage or anything? Yeah, I've talked about this when people were asking about Chet at Media Day. Um, you know, your style of play is your style of play based on your strengths and how you can impact the game. And then what we move around you in terms of lineups shouldn't change the way you play. And so Dub's a great example of that. We move him all over the lineup, obviously. Uh, but it shouldn't change the way that he approaches the game and, and the things that he does to help impact our team and impact the game. Um, and, you know, that's where the lineup stuff gets fun. You know, is you can you, when the strengths are predictable, then when you put it together, the output of that should be predictable, too. Mark, obviously you aren't approaching the preseason game the same way we are as people who observe it, but is there an element of curiosity or interest in, in Victor Wimanyama and just sort of scouting it and playing against him? Um, a little bit. Um, you know, just to see kind of what the output is and how he impacts that team. Not really for Monday, but we play them early in the season, so, you know, Monday if he plays it should be uh, a good barometer of what their team looks like, and they've got other really good players, so um, 
you know, we'll we'll check in on him uh, just like we would any other like new player or rookie that is less predictable. This time last year, Isaiah wasn't even here yet. Um, is that do you, do you use his story or anecdote with new guys coming in about just like how much your situation and fortunes can change in a matter of months? I think it's just like a stay ready thing, and it's not just him. You know, like we. He's obviously a great example of it, but Cambridge Williams like emerged from the fray his first year. Um, you know, wasn't like an established rotation player for us at the beginning. And Jay Will's a great example of that from last year. Um, Lindy Waters, a great example of that from last year. Um, there's one more Sar, you know, goes in there. Wiggins is a great example. He was a two-way. Played some blue games, and I think one of his first games was a start against Utah back when they had Conley and that team. Um, so I, I, we try to use that as an example with everybody. You know that um, we're going to play you if, if you you know have strengths that are impactful and that are efficient, and you play to them consistently. Then when the opportunities present themselves, we'll put you out there and give you a chance to make an imprint on the team. And the guys that have really taken advantage of that, like Isaiah, K. Rich, obviously have carved out nice roles for themselves. Is everybody tracking to play Monday? Say that one more time. Is everybody tracking to play Monday? Uh, yep, yep. Uh, no Poku. Other than that, I think we should be on track. It sounds like everybody hyped. Um, how was the, who was the most vocal player to this team? Um, Chet won't shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'd go with him. Look, what, uh, it, I mean, it's a, it's a first preseason game, so what, what do you want to get? What, what do you hope to take away? Um, a baseline, you know, a baseline, you know, again, the reason we scrimmage today is to see what's carrying over, and I think that's similar. You know, now you know, that's with the lights on and putting a uniform on and a different opponent. Uh, so really just getting a baseline. You practice and you think you've covered everything and you think the right things are built, and inevitably you go and play against an opponent and there's slippage and you drift. Um, and it just starts this ongoing process of um, emphasis and then you know reflection and then re-emphasize and reflect. It's the same things that are going to matter on Monday that are going to matter all the way throughout the year.